That breaking news tonight, a fiery plane crash rocks in El Cajon neighborhood. The small plane seen and heard by witnesses just moments before it crashed into a street, miraculously missing homes. Investigators there right now trying to piece together what happened moments before the wreck. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Lindsay Pena. We continue with that breaking news story we first told you about earlier here on ABC 10 News. Our crews on the ground in that neighborhood near Pepper Drive and North Mollison Avenue. ABC 10 News reporter Jennifer Kastner spoke to witnesses, but we begin with ABC 10 News reporter Rena Nakano, who spoke with first responders, breaking down the details we know so far. Rena. Hey, Lindsay, yeah, as you can see behind here, we have been moved back quite some bits by uh, the San Diego Sheriff's Department to make way for more emergency vehicles to head up this street closer to the crash site. We did speak to residents who say that they were overcome with emotion for the pilot who died a hero for avoiding hitting homes. Just moments before this blaze erupted, Angelina Ciampi was eating dinner. We felt like this giant boom like shake up our whole entire house. I thought it was an earthquake or like a boulder from this hill come down. It was neither. The power was out and dinner was over. She ran outside and saw what looked to be metal rubble everywhere. The plane actually landed on this road, Pepper Drive, in the middle of the road. It took out some power lines but did not impact any homes. Lakeside Fire Chief Don Butt says around 7.15 p.m., 911 dispatchers got multiple reports of explosions on the 1200 block of Pepper Drive in rural El Cajon. Fire crews quickly extinguished the flames, but there was no silhouette of a plane left on the ground. There's very little left of the of the aircraft. It's what's left is burned. The crash was contained just to the road and the flames did not reach any of the surrounding homes. There were no injuries or uh, further fatalities on the ground. Uh, okay. The only fatalities we're assuming right now are those that were in the aircraft and we don't know how many there were in the aircraft. Neighbors who live along Pepper Drive say in this tragedy, that is the silver lining. Susan DeAnda says she will never forget what the pilot did for her community. He gave his life to protect everybody else, and he's a hero. In my eyes, he's a hero. Now we are told that there are several hazmat teams out here to clean up that jet fuel that spilled over from the crash site due to the rain it had been washed down this hill. We are also told that there are several crews from the FAA, one local team coming in, also another special investigative team coming from Seattle to take a look at this investigation site. Lindsay, back to you. All right, Rena, thank you very much. And here's a closer look of where that crash happened. You can see the plane went down just east of Gillespie Field, about two and a half miles from the airport. We're still waiting on details about where this aircraft was coming from, where it was headed, and who was on board.